what's up guys welcome back to the second episode of lotto weekly widget season 2 powered by mtech viral youtube channel and today we are going to talk about a very good widget and as you can uh, maybe read from the uh, title that it's about 3d list view but you might be wondering that there's no 3d list view widget in flutter and you are right so um, but there are some widgets which can be very helpful for you for uh, giving you so much good with the design part so um, let me just show you what you can do with those kind of widgets so if you'll see this so this is some kind of widget as you can see this is a list which have this image uh, uh, in, in one of its item this is an image or well, we have a text called image and uh, now if i just scroll it then you can see we have another image and you can see the first and third image as well uh, in the bottom and the top and this is giving you that 3d effect which uh, we are going to see how we can implement and this is not uh, the only thing we can do we can do a lot of stuff with this particular widget and that widget is list wheel scroll view so if you talk about uh, list wheel scroll view you might have seen some examples like the date picker in uh, ios but uh, that is not the only thing you can do you can do a lot more stuff so what i am just showing you here is is not the only thing uh, you can do there are other things as well you can do with this like different kind of transformations so let's start with the, our tutorial and as you can see this is a normal uh, class stateless uh, which is extending the stateless widget now i have some uh, uh, list of images which which i have been uh, which i have taken from somewhere and in the build method we have a scaffold with an app bar as you can see season 2 episode 2 and in the center we have a body so let me just uh, run it on my simulator so that we can see what we get from this but uh, apart from that you know these kind of transformations are not very easy to do in any kind of framework but with flutter it's very easy and especially uh, there can be multiple ways to do um, these kind of things in flutter but this particular stuff is definitely gonna uh, help you in uh, having these th kind of stuff for like let's say you are making a news app or something like that where you want your user to scroll and see these kind of transitions okay so this is what we have in the center um, we basically don't have anything so in the child portion i am going to add this list wheel scroll view as you can see this is the normal constructor and it also comes with another constructor which is this list view uh, list will scroll view dot use delegate so um, you can use this if you want to uh, render your list lazily but uh, may I, i'm just going to use the normal list will scroll view so there are two parameters which is required one is children for sure and then the item extent okay we'll talk about that as well so for the item extent let's give it something like 50 and for the children so it takes a list of widget so what i'm going to do i am going to generate a list here let's say list dot generate the length length let's let's make it something like 20 and in the generator part uh, let's say i'm passing something like i okay just an i and then i can map it with a text probably okay and i can oh sorry so i have to map it with like let's say m and then i will pass the text here let's say m dot to string and then we can say to list and we are done so now you can see we have this 0 1 2 3 4 and you can see this wheel effect but uh, the, the thing which i just shown you is something different than this obviously and uh, that's not the only thing you can do with this this is a good effect that even that particular um, vi uh, list view with images and that transformation is kind of very cool but you can do a lot of things with this list view uh, scroll view if we see the other properties which it takes then there are a lot of properties like there is clip to size controller diameter ratio magnification of axis fraction perspective physics render ch children outside viewport use magnifier and all that so let me just show you one by one what you can do with this so let's try to use the magnifier here okay so here i will say that use magnifier true okay and now it's true so you will see no changes here but if i'll just scroll then also right now we don't have any change 
now what i will do i will give it a magnification value it will take a double so let's just give it two because uh, you know now flutter with the latest version can understand if it is uh, with dart 2.1 i guess it it uh, can understand if it's a double then it 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 does that job for us okay now if we'll see then we can see this kind of magnification if you can see it so now let's give it some larger value let's say 20 then you can see this kind of effect it's it's like you are showing a calendar so uh, you know this this thing is not that big to do but uh, you know it, it can give a very good uh, ui to your app let's see what kind of effect we are getting so it is zero and then it is one and it is kind of fast but i just wanted to show you that these are the things which you can do let's give it a little bit lesser um, magnification so 5 uh, 15 and uh, it looks good 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this this kind of stuff you can do 19 and it looks kind of uh, cool right but this is still not done there are a lot of other things which we can do so um, in the item extent part what I'm going to do I'll ask the media query dot of context dot size dot height and uh, let's give it a height of 0. Point, height into 0. 0.8 of it and then we probably cannot see it because we are using the magnification which is much much larger so let's make it one and also we cannot see it oh this is now here you can see there is a lot of gap now and because of the height it takes which is 0. 0.8 which is so much height so now let's take 0. 0.2 and the fact is that uh, you know these are very small elements these are not images so that's why it looks weird if we give it a height of 0 0.8 uh, the height into 0 0.8 to be uh, precise and uh, let's now increase the magnification then you will see it looks much better now now let's give it 5 so you can always play with it and you can see what are the changes you can do so this is just i just wanted to show you what you can do so let's make it now uh, 50 and this is not 5 let's make it 20 again and uh, 15 80 80 so now this this is kind of effect you can easily do with the uh, list will scroll view but you might be wondering that this is not what you shown uh, in the sample part so uh, let's do that so we have some list of images that's what i'm going to implement here so let's delete all of these and uh, in the children part i'm gonna render that particular list so what i'm going to do i'll ask the list of images dot map and for every uh, map i'm going to render a stack okay so if you don't know what is stack then it is to place uh, elements on top of each other so in this stack part we can say the stack fit dot expand alignment to center although i don't care about this alignment but let's give it and in the children part we want to have an image and over that we want to have a text so for the image part i'll ask from the network to pass this m so that it can render that and then um, I will also give this alignment to center then I will give the filter quality filter quality I will give to low so that it can um, easily you know render that image with some low quality and then in the fit part I can just say box fit dot cover apart from that we have many other options but we don't want to use any of them now uh, coming to the um, bottom part so before adding the text uh, let's add the um, the item extent so in the item extent I, I will use again this media query and I'll give it a height of 0 0.8 and then you can see something like this okay now um, I'll wrap this uh, image or this whole stack with a card okay and uh, let's wrap it with a card and let's give it a child which is this stack and then we can wrap it like this and this is fine this is looking much better now this is a card but again the same thing i want to give it 
some uh, shape so i will use a round rectangle border and i will go give a border radius of circular value 20 so you can just write 20 here it is also work so now uh, let's see what we get oh there's nothing much right maybe i have to <laughs> hot restart it so that we can see that card effect oh still we we cannot see that why i don't know so let's let's we will see why we cannot see that okay and uh, apart from that if i just scroll this then you can see we have some kind of effect but that's the, not the only thing which you can do so um this is the card and let's make the clip behavior to clip anti alia so that we can see those borders let's hold restart it again and now we can see the border okay that's what i wanted now let's reduce it a little bit let's make it 16 maybe yeah it's it's much better so this is the card we have now um after this we want to add some text on top of it so we will use the position widget and it's, it's not working oh we are adding it wrong at the wrong place so here at the position we will give it some height from the bottom from the left some margin and then in the child we will add a text saying that this is an image and then we will give it some style let's give it a color first of all so for the color part i'll give it colors dot white for the font size i will give it 50 and then for the font weight I'll give it font weight dot bold and now if I'll see then this is looking better than what it was earlier okay so this is what we could do and this looks not bad we are getting that kind of effect now let me just show you what else you can do with this so now let's talk about the other properties it has so in the list wheel scroll view you can see we have this diameter ratio and this perspective so by default the value of this perspective is 0 0.003 which is giving us this 3d effect and that's why i called it the 3d list view but let's let's change it a little bit so as you can see in the bottom we can see this image in this particular uh, trapezium kind of uh, um, widget so we will change it to 0 0.002 and now you can see that this is looking much better in that scenario oh sorry so as you can see it's showing a little bit of the first and the second image so it's it's looking much better now similarly you can play with it you can give it some random value now if i set it 0 0.01 then you can see that uh, top and the bottom widget is entirely gone because it's not showing anything now if i'll add 0 0.04 then you can see you can see the most of it and now it is giving that effect that is very maybe it can be suitable for you but it does not look that good although so similarly maybe you are wondering that you want to give it 0 0.01 then also you can see that image will overlap it somehow and it will give a, a very different effect now and you can see something like this although i don't know whether this might be useful in the app but uh, you know these are the things which you can do so now i'm gonna change it to 0 0.002 which is the most desired result which i want now let's see what else you can do so there is another thing which is diameter ratio by default it is 2 so if i make it 2 then you won't see anything the same thing you will see but let's change it to something else let's make it 5 now you will see something different now you can see the way of uh, scrolling has changed it is not uh, reflecting like how it was reflecting earlier and now this is not like a normal wheel it is something else if you will just see it then it, it it is giving a very different effect now now let's make it 10 and you can play with it a lot and now if you will see it it is again giving some another effect now let's make it one and now you will see that it is entirely different now and yes 
so it is also look it looks very cool it gives you a very very different effect and you can see that you can do a lot of stuff with it so i'm just setting it to two again back to two which is giving us that uh, 3d look now let's change let's go to this another thing which is off axis flexion which is by default zero so uh, let's make it something like two so now if i'll make it two then you will see the behavior has changed entirely now it is moving a little bit different and this is the beauty you can see that you know now this off axis has changed so this uh, rolls like a dice and it also gives a kind of cool effect now let's make it file and now it's it looks like like a laptop now <laughs> which has a bottom and the top and i don't know how how useful it can be but that's just how i want to show that you know this uh, uh, list of views uh, wheel scroll view can do a lot of stuff on its own so let's make it zero again and now it has this magnification and this magnifier as well but i don't think that for this kind of big widgets where you have set the height of 0.8 already height into 0.8 again sorry so this kind of uh, uh, for this kind of height you don't have to use magnification and all so this is about list wheel scroll view i hope that uh, you find it interesting to use maybe you can play with it you can do a lot of stuff with it and you can see this 3d effect which you get from this particular um, view and let's change this off axis fraction we don't want that and now you can see we have we are back with this image and it's it kind of looks good i will definitely implement this in one more one of my app and this is all about it so one more thing is that you know i have a facebook and it's slack group as well if you want to join you can join that the link is in the description and if you enjoyed the video then press the like button and uh, if i'll get uh, maybe somewhere 100 likes in two days not 100 150 likes in two days then i'll make a very different video than this and uh, definitely will enjoy it so press the like button also share with your friends subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber already and make sure to subscribe to memtech viral as well as uh, code pool which is my hindi channel and also press the bell icon to get the future updates i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much bye bye take care and the source code is on github so check the description bye bye